Growing up in the Midwest, you have learned that rhubarb is one of my favorite items to use. It grows so plentifully on the farm, and especially on the farm where I grew up, that we have so many different ways of using it. Once you freshly squeeze your own lemonade, you are going to see why we are doing a lemonade week. There are so many great variations on this classic, and this rhubarb infused lemonade is one of my favorites. You really cannot go wrong with this, and I know you're going to love it. To start, all you need to do is have one pound of fresh rhubarb. One pound and just chop it up very coarsely. It does not matter how fine it is. And honestly, a pound equals about four cups. So if you're not used to buying it in pound amounts and you just have it out in your garden, just measure out four cups. But if you need to go to your market to buy it, you want to buy about a pound. And if you're anything like me, you always want to buy a little bit of extra. Just chop up the rhubarb and place it into about a three quart saucepan and then you just need to put in some water. Just put this on the stove and set it over medium high heat until it comes to a boil. When it boils, it's gonna start breaking down the rhubarb and this is exactly what you want. Just let it cook for about five to 10 minutes until it's completely broken down and then remove it from the heat. Next, all you need to do is strain off that wonderful juice. Now, just as a caveat, do not try this juice alone because you are gonna think this is gonna be the worst recipe in the world. It's tart, almost bitter, and very strong, and you're gonna think it's awful. So please wait until you try the finished product to pass any judgment. Rhubarb is very tart, but when made in the right way, it is so delicious. Strain it using a fine mess strainer and just kind of push it through with the back of a spoon and then just let it sit and continue dripping for about a half an hour. There's a lot of water in rhubarb, and so just letting it sit is really the best way. After it is sat, you're gonna have about two cups of rhubarb juice. Yeah, rhubarb juice actually kind of sounds gross, so let's just call it rhubarb nectar. That sounds delicious. Remove the strainer and the pulp, and then just add your sugar right into the rhubarb nectar. It is still slightly warm, which is perfect because it will help dissolve the sugar. I know this looks like quite a bit of sugar, but think how tart lemons are, how tart the rhubarb is, and you really need the sugar to balance it out. And honestly, this is less sugar than what anything you would buy prepackaged or frozen would be. It's better for you and it tastes better. What more do you need? Whisk it together and then just let it set aside to make sure all the sugar gets dissolved. To finish off this lemonade, you just need to squeeze your lemons and a few oranges. As you know, I've said this so many times in the past, orange and rhubarb go perfectly together and lemons and oranges, ugh, that's even better. Once you have your lemons juiced, you can just pour those right into the mixture with the rhubarb and then start juicing your oranges. Now, you can really adjust this recipe if you like a little bit more orange flavor, juice some more oranges. Or if you like more lemon flavor, juice more lemons. It really is up to you. Once you have your oranges juiced, you can add those to the rhubarb and lemon mixture and just whisk it all together. Really now, you're done. This is the base for your lemonade. And it is so delicious. But right now, it's almost like a concentrate, so it's really strong. So you can just pour it into your pitcher and then pour in a little bit of water. And once again, this is to taste. If you like it stronger, add less water. I like to just add a smaller amount of water and then top it off with my ice because that's gonna melt into it, make it ice cold, and just make it the perfect flavor. I like to serve this ice cold with some lemon wedges and orange wedges. It's perfect on a warm summer's day or one of those late spring days. And I think your guests are gonna be amazed at the unique flavor the rhubarb brings. It isn't so strong that you know it's rhubarb, but it just adds that really unique zest and I love it and I know you will too. If you agree and love this video, make sure to click like below. And if you want more great videos, click subscribe. I would love to have you become part of the Great Box of Family. Leave comments, let me know what you think. I love hearing from you guys.